everybody, this is Sheets, and I'm going to be doing my early week four uh, contest simulation builds. Uh, this is based on Tuesday's data, but the, the majority of the reason I'm doing this is, again, just to get a little practice myself in using the contest sims and uh, adding that to the our, our projections, which I think are really, really strong, and seeing what the early builds kind of look like. And more important is to kind of teach you guys how to use these new techniques to, to build lineups. Uh, this is probably not going to look anything like the uh, end of the week uh, sims and the end of the week lineup builds, but just to kind of both uh, teach myself along the way of how to be a little more adept at this and hopefully teach you guys um, as well. I'm going to have to sneeze in a second. But anyway, uh, so what I've done is I've uploaded the preliminary uh, sheets, which I just I just ran for this uh, coming weekend. They're not that tight, but, you know, it's pretty good. Um, and I replaced the Saber Sim projections with up with mine. And then uh, I, I left the ownership, the Saber Sim ones for now, because uh, I wasn't happy with my initial runs. It was, I was still getting some ownership projections from Thursday's showdown slate um, or Sunday's showdown slate for whoever played on that, that day. So that didn't make a lot of sense. So I'm using Saber Sim's ownerships and my projections as kind of a blend to, you know, to build lineups from here. So we're gonna build 150 lineups. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna build it straight. So we're gonna build right from the beginning. So reset build, I guess. Um, let's cancel this a second. Let's, uh, build 150 lineups, just like this. Nothing, nothing fancy, we'll see what we get. And we're also going to talk about how to make uh, tweaks along the way, um, kind of like that post-build tweak that you you know sometimes like to like to do if you get you know a lot of like five one stacks and things that just don't make intuitive sense to you know figure out whether you want to replace your your intuition, you know you replace the same or same algorithms with your, with your intuition. And while that's usually not the greatest idea, sometimes it's. Uh, Sometimes the, the evidence is just overwhelming that you'll want to do that. Okay. So you'll see that was real time. It built 5,000 lineups really, really quickly, which is pretty amazing when you think about it. Finalizing. And yes, I could have paused while this was happening and I have nothing to say during this dead air. Okay. Loading lineups and here we go. Okay. So I always like to just get a quick look at the first lineup they list. That was, it's all Raiders pretty much. Uh, uh, I get, oh, Raiders are playing the Chargers. So it's not, makes a lot of sense. And you already have Kelly and Keenan Allen run backs, whatever. And we have Garoppolo listed as in right now. Uh, that could change very well along the week as well. Um, again, I'm going to look at all the stacks and everything in a minute, but just to give you an idea. 61% Keenan Allen. So it's looking like there's going to be a lot of Chargers Raiders on the board. Yet the Raiders are also the top owned defense at 54% owned. So that's going to be interesting to see what uh, what happens. As a matter of fact, I mean, look at this. You have Raiders defense right there with Chargers offense. Let's go. Um, anyway, we're going to build a contest sim in a minute. But the first thing I want to do is let's look at stack exposure here to see what we're getting one two 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 like these are very normal type stacks so i probably wouldn't make any changes as far as this goes but with respect to the teams it's actually the majority of the team stacks are coming from minnesota um an overwhelming number of them. so minnesota and then vegas and then just really dribbles throughout the rest of it um so let's do a uh Contest sim. And again, the way we do that is we first go into contests, uh, to settings. We'll go into contest sim settings. Um, we're going to add a contest sim. We're going to call this, uh, we'll just call this now a uh, Millie Maker. Okay. And then what we do is we go into contest size, percent to first. And we want to do this, I mean, sort of exactly. So let's go into DraftKings, contests, uh, hold on, let's just find this. 
right, so let's see exactly what this would look like. Fantasy football millionaire. So 207,000. And there's going to be 207,000. So 207,200. So let's put that in. 207,200. Percent to first, a uh, million dollars. So it's 35%. No, actually, it's less. It's about 30%, right? It's a million divided by 35. So it's about 30%. Percent of entries paid. Um, so we have 46,000, uh, so it's about 20%. So I'll put in 20% to be paid. And what are we gonna use for the field lineups? Um, so we're trying to compare what we think the field is gonna do. So. Uh, we have to pick one of these uh, ownership categories and the flagship MMA, MME is probably what we're looking for here. So that's that. Millie Maker, we're going to save the settings. Okay. And then you'll see that when go into lineups, now you can run a contest sim. So we're going to build 50,000 lineups or excuse me, a 5,000 lineups using this contest sim that we've created for ourselves. And I don't can't imagine what it's doing behind the scenes, but it's uh, it's only taking thirty seconds to simulate what happens with five thousand fifty thousand sims. Is that what it was? Whatever it was, it's actually quite amazing. You can do this in about thirty seconds. All right. So now what we have here is these lineups listed in a certain way, which is then this is the really important thing is that right now they're listed just a regular saber score okay and this is actually pretty good you know when you rank them based on you know large slate ten thousand to fifty thousand entries okay but it was actually we were going to use just the saber saber score we would probably do large slate 50k plus because there's more than fifty thousand people in this but let's use the um this contest and what we created here which is millie maker and we're gonna sort this by ROI. Okay, so now what it's done is you have a whole different outlook on this, okay? Because now that we're trying to win the Millie Maker, we have to be a lot more, um, a lot more variant. We have to we have to try to get a little bit more different, and we have to beat like so many more people that you see the distribution of stacks is much different. You'll recall, as a matter of fact, you can go back to this. When you go back to the large slate that we had up there before, you see Minnesota at 43%, then Vegas 41%, that Washington is only at 1%. And then even when you go up with, with, with um, the regular Sabre score to large slate, again, it's about 54% Minnesota, 36%. But then when you get into this contest sim, and you factor in ownership and you factor out what the rest of the field is going to be doing or what you're predicting they're going to be doing. Now, Washington leaps all the way to the top. Um, and that actually gives me a lot of faith that this contest sim piece is doing something. You know what I mean? Um, it's not just giving you the same stuff that you're getting just regularly. So what this is telling me is that Washington is going to be very low owned. And they get there enough of the time, which is not often, right, to make it worth taking a shot. Now, the other thing that you'll that you'll notice here, which I think is pretty interesting, is that when you look at overall pool expo pool exposures, like you the fifty thousand lineups we built, only eight percent of them are Washingtons. But when you really get into the top one hundred and fifty, sorted by sim ROI. There's a big amount of Washington that's up there. Okay. Um, now, the next thing I'd like to do is, well, what you could do for openers is is give yourself a little bit less uh, risk and, and go and request to have min uniques too. 
I think that's probably pretty wise. So that's the next thing I'll do. And then after that, what I'll do is I'll go look at the stack exposure and see what all this looks like. And make sure I'm not getting kind of anything I don't really want. Um, so like these four threes and stuff like that or five ones. But quite honestly, this looks like a pretty reasonable um, reasonable distribution of stack exposures. So listen, I, I, I know that it's like early in the week and this is not what it would look like. Um, but if I ran the process on Sunday and it looked like this, I might just put all this in literally just like this. Um, this, this actually feels like a good MME type build because it's got the stacks that I like, the stacks types that I like, and it's got, it's kind of hard to put it this way, but, but it's got actual stacks I don't like, you know, and that's kind of what you want to do in this Millie Maker contest is play stuff that you don't want to play. Um, because if you're playing stuff you want to play, you're playing things that everybody else wants to play. And that's very, very basic DFS 101. Um, you know, explain to my five-year-old how to play. And that's kind of the idea. Um, so uh, that is it. That is actually the the first run and the first attempt to use the, uh, the contest sims to build lineups. When we actually do them on the weekend, I'm probably going to, you know, be more, uh, you know, uh, specific about what types of tournaments that I'm going to play. Like maybe I'll do a different contest sim for the spy, something that's a little less... Uh, variant than that but so far I, th I thought this actually went really well i thought that we, we we handled the different prompts well i thought we got through our sheets well and uh yeah and trust me i'm not that great with this so if i can get through it you guys should probably all able to get through it also um all right that'll do it uh we're gonna do full breakdowns bobby and i kind of a first look and we're gonna do position by position throughout the course of the week I did want everybody to take a look at the first, uh, you know, first Sims and kind of like how to use Saber Sim and the Sim contest thing to uh, to help uh, improve. That's it.